Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shot Dogs to Born Bob, built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news update discussing the future of the site of Spinball Wizard as part of a CBB's land expansion. Now, obviously I think we're all benounced to the knowledge here that when Spinball Wizard does go, we're probably looking at a CBB's expansion. Now, what I've decided to do in this video is first of all I'm going to recap you some stats and facts on Spinball Wizard for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea about this roller coaster. First First of all, if you don't, please go and ride it because you never know when it's going to go and also it's a good family coaster. It might be the weakest in terms of thrill level, uh, obviously not as weak as Octonauts and things like that, but it's, it might be the weakest non-CBB's coaster at the park, but I reckon it's still got some thrills in there and packs a few punches. Also guys, we're going to be checking out three different routes and I've gone into research, now I'm not, obviously... I'm, t I'm nearly I'm 21 in June, so I don't watch CBeebies anymore, obviously. But what I've decided to do is to make the research for this video. I've gone out of my way and looked at all the CBB shows that are on at the moment, and try and pick out some wonderful themes for three different routes of replacement for the Spinball Wizard. So we're going to go through the stats and facts of Spinball Wizard for those of you who are new to the channel, and then talk about a new replacement coaster route a family rides route and a dart ride route so three different routes all in the same site i'm going to share each of my thoughts on that so before we get started guys make sure you like the video if you've loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss another youtube video stay tuned because we've got some we've got plenty of stuff coming your way guys i swear to god we've got hopefully one Possibly two brand new Coaster Child chats with people in this industry, this theme park industry. And I cannot wait to share them with you guys. Also, guys, make sure you go check the description down below where not only can you find links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram and Snapchat and also the Discord server where you, yes, you the Coaster Child fan base, can be a part of the Child Nation and get involved and interact with other Coaster Child fans. There's also the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas. So if you've got an idea for a video on this channel, a theme park discussion video, a review, a fact file, a next five years video, if you've got an idea and you want to suggest it and you want to be shouted out for it in the positive way they get in the google forms link submit your video ideas and we're going to get, get them all pre-recorded in the summer and for now guys let's have a look at spinball wizard stats and facts before we look at potential replacement routes at the alton towers resort with the cbb's theming so for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what spinball wizard is spinball wizard is a maurison sc 2200 spinning coaster model that opened back on the 27th of march 2004. It was rethemed from 2010 to 2015 to Sonic Spinball with the Sega license ship. It has a capacity of 950 riders per hour with a designed by Ing Budo Stengel GmbH with a new IMA score musical score that was invented a few years ago with a length of 1476.4 feet, a height of 55.8 feet and a duration of 1 minute 15. The original theme was a giant pinball machine which returned uh, in the 2016 season and then for 2010 the theme was changed with the Sega character Sonic and of course that Spinball Wizard re-theme coming back in 2016 was a big boost for the park and I think that it was probably the better theme out of the two uh, in my personal opinion because um, you know I think overall it's it, it's wonderful it's a wonderful thing to go for for the park and um you know i think while we're, while it, while it's here while it lasts we're going to enjoy it with open arms and open thrills i'm sure so let's have a look then at brand new routes three different routes for the replacement of spinball wizards so we're going to start off with the first route and that is a replacement roller coaster now what i've gone for is chuggington race off the rails uh, you can sit in either the Wilson train or the Coco train as Coco likes to dare her friends to race with her or dare. So they'll get to race each other in an off the rails experience. So this is a dueling family boomerang coaster by manufacturers Vacoma. So it's different to Accelerator at nearby Drayton Manor. It's a singular Vacoma family boomerang. This one is a dueling Vacoma family boomerang. This is two tracks, two trains, 
two experiences dueling with the other side and I've gone with the Chuggington theme because I think there's a real potential opportunity here for theming in the queue line uh, the story of the ride obviously Coco is a mischievous train uh, what I've read in the description and likes to dare her friends to race uh, so she so the storyline of the ride is that she dares Wilson who's the red train the main character of the program in my opinion and they race each other in an off the rails experience which takes them forwards and backwards so it's a wonderful family coaster it's an upgrade on octonauts and it's sort of you know if you if you if you're brave enough to do octonauts but you're not brave enough to do the other rides and the other coasters in the park like the wicker mans and stuff like that then you can always do chuggington race off the rails so in terms of coasters that is what i would go with a family dueling boomerang coaster themed to racing off the rails of the chuggington tv show route number two is the family rides package and i've put down three family rides themed around three different programs grace's amazing machines uh, which is the zamperla demolition derby so it's like the the, uh, the the cars ride the cars on route ride at disneyland parish you know that demolition derby when you're sort of uh, spinning on circular platforms and you get caught onto a different circular platform you sort of keep going around in circles with other cars it's a perfect kids attraction perfect family attraction for the area and i think there's a real opportunity to use utilize that to its full potential uh, especially with the grace amazing machines theme you know that shows all about you know the cars and things like that so overall i think that's the best thing to go for for this type of ride you've also got a pair of Larson flying scooters called Timmy's Farmyard Flying School based on the show Timmy Time which is of course the spin-off of Sean the Sheep um, so I think again in, in, part, in partnership with Man Animations and CBBS and the BBC I think that would be a wonderful attraction the flying scooters, the storyline of the ride is that you know Timmy invites you to um, you know ride these handcrafted machines uh, in the farmyard nursery and you get to fly these machines around the nursery and you get to uh, feel like uh, uh, an aeroplane uh, pilot and it's all about that idea of creative imagination you know that and obviously one of the main permits of CBB design when it first came in in 2014 was learning through play um, so you know obviously talking to you with the queue line you could learn about trains um, and with, with Grace's Amazing Machines, you can think of different sound effects. Maybe interact with the cars. Maybe have um, some sound effects and sort of have people guess while you're riding what the sound effect is, like a spanner turning or uh, a car engine going on. and You know, different things like that. With the Timmy one, for example, I mean, look at what River, Riverbank Ice Bar, which is now in the Night Garden Magical Boat Ride, look at what that used to do. That had the, the interactive buttons and you press them, you had animal sounds coming out. I think with Timmy, you could have like a sa an onboard soundtrack, storyline soundtrack on this on this flying scooters ride so that you would have farmyard animals being sounded at and you're sort of enjoying the ride while listening to these farmyard soundtracks. You're sort of starting to familiarise yourself without... Unbeknownst to all of that, you might be riding the ride as a kid and you're sort of it's sort of in the back of your mind you're taking in animal sounds and you sort of recognize the animal that makes those sounds so again it's learning through play it's educational creativity adventure so overall then the flying scooter attraction themed timmy time would be a wonderful addition to the park and then the third and final ride in this family rides package on the spinball site this is jack's rainbow sea storm and this is based on a show called old jack's um it's some it's something like old i can't remember the title exactly it's something it's old jack something um and i believe from what well from what i think it's old jack's boat that's the one old jack's boat and old jack's boat is obviously bernard cribbings who was uh wilfred in doctor who so i kind of know that one free freema who played martha in doctor who was in series one i believe so um you know that's why i sort of know those two from somewhere but old jack's boat is a kid's show about um a granddad called jack who's got this boat called the rainbow and going on sea adventures and this is a max sea storm attraction so this is like your sea storm at chessington the one at Dr outside pirates adventure at drayton manor um this is you know uh, th there's the indoor ones as well so you know it it's like the the backyardigans one as well at blackpool pleasure beach and nickelodeon land it's the classic sea storm attraction and i think again this would work very very well again you could have like the nice crashing sea wave effects uh, sound effects you could have 
um, you know, diff uh, obviously it would be in a, a slow moving way because obviously it's a family ride, it's a kids ride, so it wouldn't be too quick. So again, it like some nice, some nice sea effects, some uh, wonderful um, way of delivering the sea effects, and I think that overall that would round up the family rides package all too brilliantly. Finally then, route number three. This is the Dart Ride. And this would be the demolishment of the ride or the relocation of Spinball and the building of a brand new building in that whole entire area. We're including pathways, queue line, exit path, station. Every single bit of that, maybe the queue line gets left in, but every other bit of that area is blocked off for the building of the ride. And I think what we're looking at here is... And I was kind of thinking, well, what kind of thing could we go with with a dart ride? Like a dart, and obviously, I know, I think Spinball's removal is probably still a few years away yet. So, you know, it will have been a few years since the World of David Williams dart ride came in. I don't like Jewel with the guns, but I think the whole interactivity with the guns and the shooting and stuff like that could be put to good use for a family market. So I'd like to see an interactive shooting dart ride in that area themed to the old well the current show swashbuckle and i think doing the research on this i decided to go with the name swashbuckle jewel hunt because the whole um sort of plot of the show is just sort of finding hidden jewels i believe in a that's come lost from a gem so you've got to try and find them it's like three naughty pirates sort of hiding the the jewels from the gem you go try and find them again and this would be a nice storyline for the attraction itself as well. So you're sort of, you're climbing on board these mini galleons and you have to go into the ocean. You have to go far and wide into the seven seas and search for the missing jewels as part of the gem. And, you know, this is a good way to maybe utilize the guns and the interactivity shooting dart ride aspect in a good way. Because you could have it as if the guns have, um, again, I was talking about maybe uh, projection mapping. So have the projections work with the interactions um, from, I was talking in that Silver Dollar City video about the interactions with the interactive dart ride aspect there. Maybe if that's what's going to happen next year for 2022. And maybe like the like the Ninjago dart ride, so the projections interact with what the guests are doing. So as soon as they press fire, the projections work with them. And it's sort of like the guns are shooting out a net and you're grabbing the gems back, or the jewels back. So it's sort of like find the gems, net them, and bring them back. And it's sort of like bringing back the most gems. And again, they're in competition with each other. Who can find the most jewels as part of the gems? And, again, there's the nice family competitive spirit in that attraction as well. So, overall, then, I think, you know, in terms of uh, finding a theme for this dark ride route, it was hard, I'm not going to lie, because there was a few shows that could have gone with. But Swashbuckle was a CBB show that maybe could do with its own attraction in that kind of style. So, looking at it from a broad perspective, I think either the coaster route, the dark ride route, or the family rides package route would all be wonderful replacements for a wonderful spinning roller coaster that could be going in the next 5-10 years. So ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, that is looking and discussing about the CBB's land replacements for Spinball Wizard in the long term future at the Alton Towers Resort. Like I said, whether it's a Chuggington themed dueling family boomerang coaster, whether it's a swashbuckle themed shooting dart ride, whether it's a flat rides package containing Grace Amazing Machines, Old Jack's Boat Attraction and a Timmy Time Attraction. Either route, or even some of the things we haven't discussed. I mean, there's a million one things I could have said about CBB's Land in other videos as well. I could have said the Nina Science Lab building would be nice as like a arts and crafts centre, like a free arts and crafts centre themed around Mr. Maker. And, um, you know, there's different ways they could do that. There's different things I could have said a bit about CBB's Land. But I think that Spinball Wizard expansion area is the perfect... Um, sort of way to keep the CBB's brand alive and keep flowing with the rising attractions on it. Because you've got to think, Peter Robert Hibbity Hop came in 2019. Next year it'll be three years since the, the newest uh, attraction. This year's two years. So next year will be three years. I, th I think for 2022, I am expecting probably a CBB's land ride, whether that's replacing the Science Lab or a brand new attraction elsewhere in the area. I think we're looking at least one new CBB's Land Ride next year in 2022. That's just my bold prediction. 
Uh, but I reckon that what we could be looking at here is the beginning of maybe a further expansion into CB design, whether that's a brand new coaster, a brand new dart ride, or a set of family rides, two or three family rides. I think this is a very exciting future for that area. Yes, Bimball will be gone in the next few years, in my opinion, and it will not be forgotten. Don't worry about that. It will spin for the last time in the next five, ten years, in my opinion. But I think they'll put the area to good use to bring the CBB's Land area straight into Adventureland and uh, take over that whole section of the park and bring more colour and life to that area. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this discussion video at the CBB's Land uh, expansion replacements for Spinball Wizard in the long-term future at the Old Towers Resort. Very long title, I know. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Guys, we are trying to get to 4,000 subs and 1 million views by the end of the year. We're almost there. We're, we're getting there. We're almost there. So please make the dream come true. Let's get the subs up. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys next video. Very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an Alton-tastic CBB's day.